Um, this is midshipman Matthew Balsamo, third class. Uh, here in this photo, you can see myself, midshipman Elijah Ramthan, and third engineer Luke Means as we prepare to take the sea chest cover off, sea chest cover off using a uh, a chain fall which we had already uh, hooked up. In the previous photo, you can see there's your Luke Means beginning to uh, hoist the chain fall. Here, I have uh, I have hold of the chain fall, and I'm um, in the process of this photo. I'm hoisting up the uh, sea chest cover. In this photo, I continue to hoist the chain fall. In this photo, the sea chest cover has been hoisted to a safe enough height to the point where another a member of the engineering department can get underneath uh, get underneath it and remove the sea strainers as you can see here the sea strainers are currently being removed i am um on the 50 foot flat level um receiving the sea strainer that Elijah Rampton is passing up to me and um as we uh are getting ready to put them in trash bags located behind me. Uh, as you can see here, I'm currently holding up a one of the four sea shiners in the sea chest and I'm preparing to put it in the trash bag that a member of the engineering department um, is holding. Here, Michimin Elijah Rampton and I are inspecting the inside of the sea chest. As you can see, one sea strand has been removed and there are three more to go. In this photo, you can see myself uh, hoisting up a sea strainer that Michigan Elijah Rampton passed to me as I prepare to uh, pass it off to um, a member of the engineering department in the background who um, possesses a trash bag. As you can see here, I am placing the second sea strainer uh, to be removed in the trash bag. Here you can see Mitchum and Elijah Ramthan with a um, fresh sea strainer. We didn't clean them out, we replaced them. Um, here he is um, moving towards uh, down in the sea chest to uh, get ready to place it. And uh, here, am I, here I am being uh, passed another one in order to uh, be installed. Here you can see as we prepare to um, reapply the gasket that we had removed earlier uh, along with the sea chest cover when it was hoisted up. Now that the uh, gasket had been reapplied, the sea chest cover is uh, ready to come down and uh, third engineer Luke Means will be hoisting it down. Here you can see third engineer Luke Means uh, hoisting the sea chest cover down as um, myself, Mitch and Elijah Rampton, and uh, a member of the engineering department um, apply pressure to uh, stabilize the cover. After the sea chest cover had been um, placed down and the bolts had been lined up and the holes had been lined up correctly, um, we prepare to uh, reapply the bolts. Uh, as you can see here, we are uh, putting them in. Um, there are several of us putting them in, considering there's a um, substantial amount, and um, we continue this process until it's done. Here the bolts continue to be placed in, the final bolts are being sent into place. Here another member of the engineering department, picture on the left, gets ready to uh, tighten each of the bolts down to make sure the CTS cover uh, remains in place.
Here you can see I am uh, watching as two members of the engineering department um, tighten down the final bolts to um, wrap up the process that is removing and, re and replacing the C strainers.